So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean down all the little bits and pieces on the guitar. So I'm going to start with my cloth for cleaning. It's a little bit dirty, this cloth, but it doesn't matter. It's, um, it's not the real pristine clean one we want. Just uh, we want two cloths, one to get all the dirt off, the other one to polish it up. And just give it a dust down first. First you're going to find a lot of surface dust that gets caught underneath the strings. Starting at the top for me, I like to start one area, get into all the nooks and crannies and grooves around the headstock. It's just a dusting at this stage and then we just wipe down any dust that might be on the actual fretboard right down the bottom of the guitar. And then the next thing is just to go over any dust that might actually be on the surface of the guitar itself. Pretty self-explanatory, nothing flash here, no special technique going on, just take the dust off, pretty easy. Cool. Okay, the next step is to grab our uh, lemon oil and what we're going to do is we're going to get stuck in here and clean up the frets but what I've noticed in my, on this guitar is we've got a lot of dirt trapped right in on the fret there see the start the starts of little bits of dirt is just gathering there quite nasty stuff just gently scraping into that little nooks and crannies there if you've got something sharp like even like a pin that can get right into those little grooves you'll actually be able to take some of that dirt out there it's quite disgusting what sort of accumulates in there that's the worst spot for these guitars to uh, accumulate dirt. So we're going to get in there first and just start getting rid of some of that dirt before we start cleaning. So the next step is we're going to grab our cloth and I'm just going to wrap the cloth around my finger. We're going to get some of this lemon oil. Pretty simple, just a little bit of lemon oil on the end of the cloth. It smells lovely. You can see nice and heaps of oil on there. Doesn't matter if there's too much oil, it'll rub off eventually anyway. And so we just start getting the oil into the guitar itself and you'll see straight away, it starts to soak into that wood, which is what you want. And at the same time, circular motion, circular motion to clean all the dirt that's in there. You can see the difference there already. Big difference between what's been oiled and what's not. It's really good for the guitar to get that oil in there. And some of you guys might be wondering, so how often do I oil the neck? It's just a preference thing. Um, you don't want it to be oily. You just want it to be um, healthy wood. So I'd say at least a couple of times a year you want to give the, the, the oil, uh, give the neck a bit of an oil, which is what this is on the rosewood part of the neck. It's the most important part of the guitar for us. This is where we do all our work and it's nice to keep it in good order. So I've noticed on this, on this guitar we've actually got some beautiful bit of uh, wood down here as well that would, could do with a bit of oil from the lemon oil as well. So I'm just going to oil this up as well. It's just going to make it look pretty. And it does come in contact with the strings quite a lot too. It's nice to protect the wood. You can already see it's just drinking up that wood, uh, that, that oil beautifully. Just like that. And uh, see with this little plastic piece here on the bridge. Um, that's where the strings go in contact as well uh, with the, to the guitar. Really important part. I'm just going to give that a wee clean as well in case there's any dirt and grime and grit in there. And then just wipe it down with the rest of the cloth. Any excess will just come off there. And then we're ready now for the next step which is going to be to clean the actual guitar itself. So for this next part of the, uh, of the video what we're going to do is we're going to be putting some guitar polish on. We're going to clean up the actual guitar itself. This guitar, it's actually in quite good condition. It doesn't really have um, a lot of dirt in the little nooks and crannies. It's looking pretty good. I've seen some that have been really bad, um, and this is definitely fine, actually. It's looking pretty much like new, really. Um, there's a little bit of wear and tear around the pick guard, which is normal, but that's not a problem. We'll just give it a bit of a clean up with a bit of this oil, and it should be looking amazing, good as new. So the same idea. We're just going to place a little bit, and this stuff is a little bit like, looks a little bit like sun cream. It's basically a furniture polish in some ways, but a specialised one for the, for the guitar. I'm going to give it a wee shake. Okay. Let it soak into the cloth a bit, and then same thing, the circular motion on the guitar itself. Now the best areas on the guitar for this are uh, under where the strings were. Under where the strings were, which is in this area here, really important you get stuck in. Around the scratch plate, this area here is where our hand follows through when we're strumming. Another good area to get stuck in. And you'll uh, find a bit of dirt will come off there. So look at that, some dirt's coming off there already. A 
This isn't necessarily going to make the guitar sound any better. Might make you feel a bit better about the guitar. Just makes it more pretty, really. And the guitar is a beautiful instrument. It's nice to look after a good wood. If, it has a, if your guitar has a gloss finish, this one has a matte finish. What I mean by that, there's no, no glossiness. There's not a great big shine off the guitar. It's quite a dull finish on the guitar, like a natural wood finish. Um, it's fine just to give it a wipe off like this. If, you, if it has, has got a gloss finish, it's probably a good idea to follow through with a, with a good uh, polishing cloth and really buff that up. It'll look like a brand new car or something has got a nice wee gloss on it. So, but in this case, just a wee wipe off should be fine because it's a naturally a dull finish. And we're done. Okay, so we've cleaned the top and, uh, and fretboard of the guitar and we've given it a good oil up. I'm just gonna give the, the headstock a little wipe. There's no uh, big deal about that, just the same as what we've been doing. We're gonna wipe around here and then on the back of, uh, sorry, the sides and top of the guitar, this is a bit where we get a lot of um, dirt. Mostly from talking or if you've been singing, you get a lot of spray from your mouth ending up on the guitar. Sounds gross. Um, we'll give that a clean as well, just in case there's some on there and in behind the guitar as well. Just the, the back of the guitar here, um, this is where our thumb is in contact with the guitar. We like that to be nice and clean and so we can glide up and down here really easily. So give that a good polish up as well. It should look really good. And for this uh, particular guitar, I'm just going to give the, the little tuning heads here just a little wee bit of a, a going over because they've got a bit of dirt on them as well after lots of grubby fingers being on there. And I think, I think we are ready to go to put some strings on. <laughs>